Hello, Noble Knitter, it's Nancy Queen, and today I'm going to talk to you about five must-have tools that I don't ever use. So let's dive right in. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and click the bell to get notified every time I post. Now, let me explain a little bit. A lot of times when you're new to knitting or when you buy um, like a little knitting set or a kit to get started, it'll come with all of these tools and you tend to think, oh great, I have everything I need now. Well, guess what? I hardly ever use the tools found in those kits and I'm gonna elaborate on each one of them. The first tool are the slip ring markers. Now these are little tiny markers that you can see here that have a split in the ring and you're supposed to be able to attach them to the knitting so that you can mark a location. However, I find that they snag the yarn. They um, are just a pain in the neck for me to use. So I don't use them. What I do use are these locking stitch markers. They're um, much easier to use, much easier for me to get in and out of my knitting or to be able to mark like the ends of, if I'm knitting a sweater, I can mark my um, armhole shaping is where that begins. Um, or if you're pinning two pieces together, I find these um, locking stitch markers to work much better for me. The second tool that I never use are these stitch holders. They look like a big diaper pin and they're meant for sliding the stitches on to hold them until you need to knit them at a later time. However, what happens when you slip the stitches on is that they might be going the wrong direction and then you have to slip them on a needle and then back on another needle to get them where they need to be. I never use those. I use these double-ended stitch holders and it's basically a double-ended, here it is, a double-pointed needle with a cap that goes over each end. So you slide the stitches onto here. It doesn't matter which direction they go. And then when you're ready to knit them, you just undo the appropriate side or take the whole thing off and knit right from this holder. You don't have to slide it. With this diaper pin, you have to slide it back onto a needle. Well, with this, you don't. And these three different sizes, so between the three sizes, you always have the size that will fit your needle. It doesn't have to be exact, more of in a range. Like you might have one that fits like a zero to five and then a five to eight or nine and then maybe a 10 to 15. So for the, it's just a much easier tool to have. So it's a much better tool than the, the diaper pin stitch holder. I also wanna let you know that I'm going to provide links to all of these materials in the description below. Okay, have you ever seen these? My grandma used to use them all the time. It's a row counter that sits on the end of your needle and it has a wheel on each end and you just turn the wheel to the next row. When you finish a row, you just turn the wheel a notch. and a lot of people like these however they're not the best if you're working on circular needles and i feel like when i'm working on them on straight needles they one of my needles is always weighed down a little bit more i forget to use them because of where it is and i just never use this tool so i use this kacha kacha counter or i use paper and pen and i find that to be a much more effective method of keeping track of rows than this row counter that sits on the needle. If you got one of those little kits, you may have received these strange looking shepherd hook looking things. Well, they're actually cable stitch holders. So you slide your stitches onto this shepherd's hook to hold them while you're waiting to cable them. So you cable some other stitches first and then you go back and knit the ones that are on this holder. Well, I find these to be a pain in the neck. So here's what I use instead. To me, these are much easier. They make more sense. They're not as cumbersome when you're working and they look like little mustaches to me because they have that drop down. So you just slide the stitches onto this cable needle and now you're going to put them in the center until you're ready to use them. So see, they just sit right there. Now you go and knit your stitches. And then when you're done knitting these stitches, 
you're going to go and knit right off of this cable needle. So see now I'm going to slide them onto the other side and start knitting. Just so much more convenient. Definitely a tool to use. And the last tool that I never use are stitch stoppers. They go on the ends or the tips of your needle to help keep the stitches from falling off the needle. Now there might have been a time that I would have liked to use them, I just didn't know about them. You know, when I was new to knitting to keep my stitches on the needle, but now I just don't use them at all. I never see a need for them. When I'm done knitting for a time, I slide the stitches way back on my needle or I slide them onto the circular part of the needle so I never worry about the stitches coming off. So those are the five tools that I never use. Let me know what you think. Do you have favorite knitting tools? Do you use any or all of these tools? I'd really love to know. Let me know in the comments below and I'll see you in the next video.